How you doing? Rev here. Today I want to talk about how to store your food while you're on trail and uh, how to keep the bears and as Andrew Skirka calls them, little bears, squirrels, rabbits, uh, raccoons, whatever, how to keep them out of your, your food. So pay attention, sit up straight, listen up, and stay tuned. When I was in junior high school, uh, I had a disturbing <laughs> incident happen to me one day at school. Uh, I had brought my lunch in a brown uh, paper uh, sack and uh, we didn't have lockers. And so I put it uh, on the shelf uh, where everybody else put their lunches. And about the time that uh, lunch came around, I went to get my uh, lunch bag and uh, it was gone. And the only thing I could figure is somebody stole it. The reason why I think somebody stole it is because there was no lunch, uh, lunches, lunch bags, lunch, whatever, uh, left over. It's not always a wise thing to come between a junior hire, especially a guy, and his food. Now today I want to talk about uh, how to keep from getting your lunch <laughs> or your food stolen while you're on trail. Now be sure and check the rules and regulations uh, before you go out to the wilderness, a park or a forest, wherever you're going to. Be sure and check uh, the, the regulations about what's required for food storage. Uh, it's different in different places. And by the way, if you don't uh, go by the rules and regulations, uh, then it's a heavy, heavy fine. And so if I were you, I would definitely find out what's required uh, in the place that you're going to. Again, it's just not bears that we're talking about, uh, but all kinds of uh, animals uh, sometimes associate uh, humans with food. Uh, rabbits, squirrels, uh, raccoons, deer especially. Only one time on the... Uh, PCT, uh, did I have, well, it wasn't food, really, it was my hat. Uh, I, and it was a dumb mistake on my part. Uh, I had left my hat outside. I was in the, I was hiking in the Mojave Desert, and uh, of course, there was sweat all over my hat, and so I had a lot of uh, salt stains on it, and uh, some animal, I don't know what it was, but uh, I left it outside my tent and some animal during the middle of the night just tore it up. And I had to get a new hat because of that. Now you're doing uh, the animals a grave disservice when you either feed them purposely. Oh, he's so malnourished. I feel sorry for that deer. I need to give him some of my food. No, you're gonna cause him to starve and depend upon humans to feed him. But especially if bears associate humans uh, with food, uh, then they become a problem uh, bear. And a lot of times uh, the rangers have to uh, find them and put them down and, uh, and, and kill them. So don't do the animals a disservice by not properly storing your food so they can't get to it. So with that in mind, number one, if possible, uh, keep your food in a bear locker. A lot of times uh, in the wilderness or a forest area, uh, they'll have these metal bear lockers uh, that are pretty secure uh, to keep bears uh, out of your food. And so make sure that you store it in a bear locker if there's one uh, that's close by you uh, when you camp for the night. Now, sometimes uh, mice uh, and, and little uh, animals can get into those bear lockers because uh, there's, you know, places where uh, it's not put together uh, completely. Uh, but find something, a stick, a rock or whatever, and stuff it in there uh, so that the uh, mice can't get to your food. Number two, hang it in a tree. Now, be sure you know how to do a bear hang. There's all kinds of, 
YouTube videos that show you how you can do a bear hang, a proper bear hang, but most people don't know how to do it. So be sure and before you go uh, on a long distance hike or even a short hike, make sure that you know how to do it. Practice before you go. I have seen more people uh, throw a rock bag over a limb and it come back and smack them right in the head. I've seen that happen more times than, uh, than I can count. And so uh, <laughs> uh, be careful. And uh, like I said, practice before you uh, actually go out and hike. Now, when I did my through hike of the PCT in 2020, uh, I only hung my uh, food uh, from a tree with a bear hang only one time, and that was because uh, there was a problem bear uh, in the area, and I wanted to make sure uh, that I had my uh, food uh, out of reach of him. Number three, put it in your tent. Now, before you freak out, okay, I want you to listen to me carefully because, again, uh, the way I did it, uh, I didn't have any problems whatsoever with little bears or big bears uh, sniffing around my tent for food. The first thing I did is I made sure that uh, all of my food was repackaged in Ziploc bags, and I made sure that those Ziploc bags did not have any leaks in them or they were torn or whatever. The next thing that I did is I took all the uh, food that was in the Ziploc bags and put them in this <laughs> big Ziploc bag. It's called an OPSAC, O-P-S-A-K. I think the company's name is uh, LOCKSAC, L-O-C-S-A-K. I'll leave a link down in the description, but it's a fantastic bag. It's supposed to be where nothing can get to it or get out of it, especially the smell. Then the next thing that I did is I took the food that was in the uh, Ziploc bags uh, and I put it in the uh, op sack. And then I put the op sack in a food bag. I used the uh, z Packs food bag and I'll leave a link in the description uh, section below uh, to that particular food bag. Then I put the food bag in a compactor bag that I kept all of my uh, sleeping clothes and, and uh, sleeping stuff uh, in my backpack to keep it dry. And uh, I rolled the compactor bag up real tight uh, again so that no smell could get uh, uh, into the air. And then I put all of that in my backpack and uh, tightened my backpack down uh, cinched it up and uh, uh, clipped it shut and everything. And then I just uh, put it inside my tent and slept with it. Again, I took all those precautions to keep the smell uh, of the food from getting out into the atmosphere to attract animals. And I had no problems whatsoever uh, when I did my through hike at the PCT uh, by doing it uh, that way. Then number four, you can keep it outside your tent. Again, uh, take the same precautions that I did when I uh, put it inside of my tent, uh, but you can put it in the vestibule there. Again, I did that a couple of times uh, on my uh, journey. Number five, uh, you can also store it in, store your food in a bear canister. I personally use the BV, the Bear Vault uh, 450, uh, when I was hiking the Sierra section uh, of the PCT. Again, uh, it's required, uh, I think, from Kennedy Meadows, maybe a little bit north of Kennedy Meadows, uh, all the way to Sonora Pass. Uh, it is a requirement that you have a bear canister to store your food in. But I use the BV450 instead of the big uh, BV500. But take the bear canister at night with all your food in it and uh, put it about 100, uh, 100 feet, 200 feet away from your tent and uh, uh, you won't have any problems. And then lastly, number six, you can store your food in what's called a Ursac. Uh, I think it's spelled U-R-S-A-C. 
uh, CK. Uh, I don't know a lot about the Eurosac. Uh, I've seen it uh, at places like REI and uh, online, but uh, from what I understand, it's made of Kevlar uh, material and uh, supposed to be bear proof, but it's not approved uh, in the Sierra section of the PCT. Uh, now, they can crush your food in that Eurosac, which is why I don't use it. Uh, but from what I understand, they can't get to it to eat it. So those are just some suggestions and some things that I've learned about storing food and uh, keeping animals from stealing your food. So if you have any comments or questions, uh, please be sure and leave that in the comments section below. And uh, if you would, give me a thumbs up uh, on this video. And uh, if you've not subscribed to my channel, please be sure and do so. I've got some other uh, videos uh, that are coming up on how to be a more effective uh, hiker, backpacker, uh, through hiker, whatever. But uh, if you'd like to learn a little bit more about what I've learned then please be sure and check out these videos right here. And until then, I will see you down the trail.